the new Samsung Galaxy S21. This looks different. It is. Show me. Just hit record. See that? You're filming in 8K, beyond cinema quality. So... You can pull photos straight from video. Impressive. But will it last the whole trip? You'll have battery all day. And then more. This is different. Told you. Hi, my name is Aditya. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top features of the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G smartphone. This premium smartphone comes with Exynos 2100 Octo-Go processor and gets up to 16 GB of RAM with 502 GB storage on board. So let's get started with the top features of this device. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra gets a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display with support for Quad HD Plus display which is 1440 pixels resolution. It gets 120Hz refresh rate support as well and it's adaptable. So basically if you're playing games then it switches to the highest available refresh rate and let's say if you're just navigating across through apps then it will lower down so that it conserves battery life. The phone is powered by Octa-Core Exynos 2100 processor paired with up to 16 GB of RAM and you have 502 GB storage that is not expandable because this phone lacks micro SD card slot. The phone gets quad rare cameras which includes 108 primary rare camera and then you have a 10 megapixel primary periscope lens and then you have a 10 megapixel telephoto lens and then you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens as well. All these lenses basically mean that the phone's capabilities are diverse and you have dynamic and versatile shooting capabilities and also lets you record videos in different kind of angles and perspectives. The phone comes loaded with a 5000 mAh battery that supports 25 watt wired charging, 15 watt wireless charging and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging to charge other wireless supported device. You get USB Type-C port which not only lets you support for data transfer and charging but also for using the headphone audio capabilities as well since the phone lacks a 3.5mm audio jack. Apart from this, you have a 40 megapixel selfie front camera and the phone runs on Android 11 version which is the latest operating version from Android available in the market and Samsung has used its One UI 3.1 interface to give you a modern look and customized interface. So this is Samsung's latest S21 Ultra 5G smartphone in the market. This phone gets a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display with Quad HD plus screen resolution and supports 120Hz refresh rate. It runs on Android 11 operating system based on Samsung One UI 3.1 interface. In addition to this, it is also one of the first devices to use Samsung's latest Exynos 2100 Octa-Core processor paired with up to 16 GB of RAM. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with us for more. Hi, my name is Aditya and in this video, we're going to check out the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G smartphone. This phone comes with Exynos 2100 Octa-Core processor. It gets a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display which supports 120Hz refresh rate and you get Corning Gorilla Glass Victus protection on the front and the back. So let's get started with the unboxing of the S21 Ultra from Samsung. 
So this is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G smartphone. As you can see, it gets an all black box and S21 written on the front with S21 Ultra 5G written at the bottom to differentiate between the different models that Samsung is offering with the series this year. At the back, you have some information which talks about the contents of the box as in what you get inside the box, the price of the product and details like where Samsung is manufacturing this phone and where it is importing and how it comes to India and where its office is in the country. So now let's get deep inside the box and see what all Samsung is offering with this phone. As you can see, the phone is there with a neat screen covering on the, at the top and you have a matte black finish with quad cameras at on the side, left side, top left side, which is giving you in this rectangular module. Now, apart from this phone, you have the regional lock guide. So basically, these phones are made in different countries, but they are suited for markets like ours, which is why regional lock guide basically gives you an understanding of how this phone will function, how to get started, and you have the user manual guide, which walks you through all the features that are available and how to get started using. So like for instance, if you want to enable the on-screen fingerprint scanner of the S21 Ultra, you need to go through the user manual, go through and follow the settings that are given and follow the steps and you will basically be able to secure this device. In addition to this, let's say if you're new to this phone and you want to transfer your data from your old phone to this one, then you also have the user manual helping you to get you understanding as to how those data can be transferred, including the apps that are downloaded already on that device. Apart from that, let's say you have a Google ID and you want to sign into this phone. So this user manual will also help you to get started in terms of signing on to this device and letting you use all those data and activities that you've been using on the previous devices. So that's primarily the use case of the user manual that comes inside the phone. Uh, but we also want to mention that Samsung with the S21 Ultra series is not giving you an adapter. Instead, what you get are the USB Type-C cable. So this USB Type-C cable neatly wrapped inside this case comes black in color and you have this long cable which can be used to charge this device. The phone gets a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display and as we've already mentioned, this phone is powered by octa-core Exynos 2100 processor with up to 16 GB of RAM and gives you 502 GB storage that is non-expandable. So these are all the ingredients that you get with the S21 Ultra and you also have the product warranty situation. So now let's say if you have a problem with the phone and you want to get it covered with benefits, then use the warranty card and make sure that you head over to the nearest Samsung store and get the benefits if the damage happens within the warranty period. So as you can see, Samsung is offering you USB Type-C cable along with the S21 Ultra 5G smartphone. However, you do not get power adapter, so you'll have to buy them separately as the company is not offering them inside the box. You also have the product manual and the user guide manual to get started using the device, basically which involves signing into the device and transferring data from your old devices. This all black box from Samsung with the S21 Ultra 5G also gives you an insight into the pricing of the product and the insights of the content that comes inside the box. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with us for more. Let's take a look at the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. The first thing you'll notice is the incredible AMOLED display. Both the S21 and S21 Plus have displays that are flat with minimal bezels, vivid colors, and super smooth refresh rate. Now let's take a look at the back of the phone. You'll immediately notice a new camera design. It houses a triple camera system that is versatile for your everyday photo and video needs. Here on the S21 Plus in Phantom Violet, the camera housing blends into the side frame. The S21 is, of course, smaller than the S21 Plus, but both give you a large display experience in a compact form factor. And they have a haze finish, which means less fingerprints. Here is the whole new range of exciting colors on the S21 and the S21 Plus. These are great smartphones for your everyday and more. 
This was a first up-close look at the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. Hi, my name is Aditya and in this video, we're going to look at the top camera features of the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G smartphone. This phone comes with quad-red cameras, which includes a 108 megapixel primary sensor. In addition to this, you have a periscope lens, a telephoto lens and an ultra-wide sensor as well. So let's get started with the camera features of this new premium smartphone from Samsung. Being a premium smartphone means that the S21 Ultra from Samsung has a lot of capabilities from its imaging side as well. Now, looking at the back of the phone, you can see this large module, this rectangular shaped module that packs a hue of sensors and we're going to walk through all these sensors for you. So it has a 108 megapixel primary sensor in addition to this, it has a 10 megapixel periscope lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor that basically gives you all kind of photos and videos and capabilities that are probably, that you're going to match with the best in the market right now. It also has this uh, ultra sensor, which uh, basically works around like an LED flash also and adds more uh, touch and laser focus uh, impact is also there, which also uh, makes a huge difference in terms of the overall output of the image while on the front you have this 40 megapixel selfie sensor which uh, basically lets you click wide selfies and can be also used for different kind of biometric features like the face unlock that is uh, built into the s21 ultra smartphone so these are what you get uh, with the hardware composition of the cameras now let's look into the software interface of this phone this camera uh, so this is basically again a very uh, regular and a very well versed uh, samsung's camera interface that has all these capabilities and it walks you through different kind of tips and tricks to make sure that you make the best use of whatever uh, ultra capabilities that this phone's camera has. So this is the primary, the phone photo mode, and then you have these different zoom capabilities, which goes up to as much as 10x using that uh, periscope lens that we talked about. Uh, so this is all the capabilities that you get with the photo mode that goes up to 100x in terms of optical zoom. So Samsung has really gone uh, for uh, the kill with this one this time around. Then this is the single take option. So Samsung is basically giving you an option wherein you can take photos in a single click and uh, you don't really lose out on a lot of time and these are usually done with a timer set in which is why you have this timer set in between 10 to 5 to 15 seconds is what you can take this single take on and uh, it's primarily used depending on what you're using for. Then you have this video mode that has different capabilities. You have different resolution which we can shoot videos in 9 is to 16, 1 is to 1 and then you have these screen resolution which go up to as much as 8K resolution at 24 FPS. So again being a premium phone means that 4K and 8K resolutions are best standard these days for smartphone cameras and the S21 Ultra gets all of them going up to uh, 8K in terms of the highest capability and going as low as the HD, HD resolution which is 720p pixels at 30 frames per second. So these are all the video capabilities. Again, you get zoom capability up to 10x uh, with using the uh, rare sensor that you have at the back. And uh, then you have an optical zoom capability up to 20x on the phone's camera for videos. So this is what you get with the videos. Then in addition to this, you have so many other features that you can try out. You have the Zaya zone, you have the Bixby version that you can also play around with. Then you have the Pro mode. So now the Pro mode is basically a manual version of how you work around with things. And you want to manually set the IO cell level, you want to manually set the white balance level, or you want to manually set the aperture level, shutter speed as well. So all those things you can do with this and that works even for the ultra wide camera. So it basically depends what you want to use, how you want to use, and again, screen resolution go up to full screen resolution that enhances and adds a different kind of touch and appeal to your images and that's what the pro mode also does. So different kind of capabilities you can try, enhance different kind of better focus capabilities and so on and so forth. Then we've already talked about the video capabilities of this phone, then th this has this palm uh, steady, super steady mode. So let's say if you're moving around somewhere and you want absolute super stabilized motion, uh, what you do is you use this electronic uh, image stabilization built into the phone's camera to make sure that the videos are stable. So so as you can see over here, this is the more options that you get with the S21 Ultra. You have the night mode, you have the food mode. Now, let's say if you want to click a photo and you want to post it on Instagram or any social media platform, this is what the feature that you use. You have the portrait video option as well, slow motion, hyperlapse. So there are a lot of these options that they've added. And for director's view, what Samsung has specifically done is they are using the phone's front and the uh, internal speaker to make sure that 
where you get ambient as well as outer noise, uh, outer sound um, uh, uh, and get the best output coming out of it for video which enhances the overall output and performance of uh, whatever you're watching on this device. So these are all the capabilities of the rear camera. Now moving on to the front camera, this has a 40 megapixel selfie camera or as we mentioned and also lets you shoot up to 4K videos in different resolution and uh, you have different screen resolutions as well so you can shoot in one is to one you can shoot in full uh, full screen resolution and then you have this motion photo also so let's say you want to click a photo but you want to click it in the motion mode so then that's where you enable this then you have these filters that you can try out with so a lot of these ai capabilities are built into the software by samsung so you can use these face options you can enhance the intensity or you can reduce the intensity based on whatever you're looking at you have my filters you can add different kind of filters let's say if you want to use shadows you want to use palm tree you want to use monster so these are again different kind of features and then you have filters so filters are primary in terms of the intensity temperature so let's say if you want to do cool temperature so this is what you get then you have uh, something called frosty as well something called blossom so these are again the capabilities that the selfie camera is offering it's quite power packed and you can also shoot videos as we already mentioned and it goes up to uhd so 4k resolution videos from the front camera at 60 fps that that's quite uh, capable in terms of if it's premium capabilities and that's what samsung is offering with its selfie camera as well so these are all what you get and then finally you have this bright and natural mode so uh, you already know that samsung uses amoled displays for its phones but um, let's say if you want to use a more uh, if you want a more natural color touch to your images then you can just uh, switch between the bright and natural to define what kind of uh, enhancement you want or what kind of touch-ups you want for your photos to come out uh, in the output mode so with this 108 megapixel primary rear sensor coupled with its periscope lens, telephoto lens as well as the ultra wide sensor, the S21 Ultra from Samsung has camera capabilities at its premium best. What you get is a capability that is diverse and versatile and also lets you shoot videos in 8K resolution. Along with that, you have the 40 megapixel front selfie camera that not only lets you shoot videos, take video calls, but also record videos in 4K resolution, which is quite astounding at this price point. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with us for more.